Our next story is about a world record, a record set by Indians working overseas for the kind of money they sent home. More than $100 billion. That was the volume of remittances in 2022. And this is a world first. No other country has crossed the $100 billion mark. It's a big sum. It makes up over 3% of India's GDP. So what explains this surge? And how does it help the Indian economy? Our next report has the answers. 111 billion is a significant number. That's the value of the remittances sent by Indians working overseas in 2022. The sum surpasses the GDP of several countries like Guatemala, Bulgaria, Luxembourg, Panama, Sri Lanka and Myanmar just to name a few. Crossing the $100 billion mark is a milestone. But this number tells a story too. Usually, the Gulf countries make up a large chunk of remittances in India. A large number of Indian workers travel to the region, usually to find work in construction and related sectors. In the last few years, these workers have fared well. A spike in energy prices and a boom in demand for migrant workers drove up the remittances from the Gulf. But there's a new trend that's picking up. It's being driven by Indians living in developed economies and working in high-skilled jobs. They now have a 36% share in India's remittances by. Who are these Indians? A large chunk of them are the Indian techies, working in countries like the United States, the United Kingdom and Singapore. The World Bank expects similar levels of contribution in 2024 as well. Several factors contribute to this trend. The first and the most obvious one is cultural. Indian workers overseas have a habit of sending some of their earnings back home each month. This is for the sustenance of their families. That's unlikely to change anytime soon. The second factor are the savings programs. Overseas Indians like to keep some of their money in India, and there's a good reason for that. These savings, usually in the form of fixed deposits in banks, deliver better interest rates than the West and they are tax-exempt. While the data about these deposits is hard to come by, according to one estimate, non-resident Indians or NRIs have around $143 billion worth of deposits in India. And this number is increasing by $10 billion annually. Sending money home is also getting cheaper thanks to India's digital payments platform. UPI or the Unified Payment System has been opened up for overseas payments too. UPI is a real-time money transfer system. Most recently, it was integrated with Singapore's PayNow. This has led to a boost in cross-border transactions. Sending money via UPI is cheaper than using banks, and Indians in Singapore are making the most of this. By November last year, this system was recording around 100 transactions a day and close to 3,000 in a month. The Indian government plans to expand UPI to more countries. Even without this system, Indians appear poised to surpass their own record, as the World Bank predicts that remittances to India will increase to $135 billion this year.